I'm installing walnut keys in a keyed miter joint. I call it a keyed miter joint because that's what my first editor at Taunton Press called them. And uh, the point of the keyed miter is the little keys strengthen the joint. I use a little glue paddle to spread glue inside the holes. And then I use a paddle to put a little bit of glue on each key as it's put in place. If the key feels a little loose, I'll throw it away and try, it, try one that's a little bit thicker. I'll put the glue on the key, push it in place. If it needs a little bit of hammering, I'll use a little block of wood like this to make sure I'm not hitting the key and damaging it. You notice that the keys are already cut in a triangular shape. And so what I do to make them is I rip a, a bunch of little strips of wood down to the right thickness. Tape them together so they can be safely cut at a 45 degree angle using the miter sled on the table saw. So you notice this is a fairly simple process and the use of the little um, glue paddle helps me to get the glue distributed in the joint rather quickly. When I'm making boxes like this, I'll make several at a time. So I want to go at a good speed with it. Now see, that one's a little bit tight, but it's going in okay. I just have to tap it a little bit to get it to go to where it's closed up on the joint both sides. If I need to tamp it this other way, I can do that. After the glue's dried, I can trim them with the flush cut saw, or I can use the band saw. You'll find tips like these and much more in my box books that are available on Amazon.com.